let's see what the fine art destroying climate mob is up to this time at the Hague in the Netherlands. Here it is, guys. Oh, they're looking at a painting. That bald guy's doing something weird. Is that girl with the pearl earring? Yeah, it is. Girl with the pearl earring. He's gluing his head to it. Bleeding on the girl with the pearl earring. He's gluing his head to it, and now his bloody tomato sauce poured tomato juice all over him. Now they're making a speech. They're, they're How do you feel when you see something beautiful and priceless being apparently destroyed before your eyes? Ooh, earth. It's a metaphor for the earth. Ooh. Do you feel outraged? Yeah. But this one's different. He fucked up and glued himself to the painting. Did he, that could did he really know he wasn't up. supposed to do that? That could really fuck it up. Yeah, hands glued to it. This painting is protected by glass. It's just a lie. It's protected by glass. You're ruining it, buddy. You're supposed to say that. Well, I'm at the museum. With, we came all this way. So why they even? Yeah, why they even do it if it's fine? <laughs> because we're watching it, and talking about it. It's yeah. Security sucks at these museums. Let me tell you. It really does. We need to choose between hearing or eating. They need to hire like ex UFC guys. So, uh, you may be thinking, guys, <clears throat> man, that was uh, pretty baby-like, right, for the climate protesters there to just glue themselves to Johannes Ver Ver uh, Vermeer's uh, famous girl with the pearl earring painting. Yeah. And um, actually, scientifically, if you were thinking that, you'd be correct, uh, because according <laughs> to a new paper from Michael Schellenberger, a growing body of research uh, <clears throat> finds higher levels of narcissism and infantilization among activists. Uh, the finding is supported by their new tactics of throwing food, screaming and threatening to poop their pants constantly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they are babies. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Literally, the scientists and the psychologists are begin beginning to think that polarization often fed by social and legacy media is actually making us more baby like. The worst part of that video was that guy's horrible accent. He sounded like a Muppet. He sounded kind of like the Swedish, like the Swedish well, I th chef. I think he was from Wisconsin. How do you feel? Oh, no, turkey, he's Belgian. turkey, turkey, turkey. Oh, big uh, time uh, Belgian. Do you so not like when we destroy the paintings? <laughs> the painting is fine. I love everybody's though. like, shut up. Yeah. Just shut up and leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting you say that about the article, Will. <laughs> when I was watching this, I was thinking to myself, <laughs> You know what I would do if I was a climate change activist? Hmm. I'd take all that energy. I'd go to San Francisco. Sorry, Wes. And I'd spend time infiltrating wealthy circles, right? And then slowly from inside convincing wealthy people because that's how you have power is by having money to do something different. Oh, they're too lazy. That's what I would that. do. Too lazy. So well, you're, you're saying effect. instead of gluing your head to yes, a instead famous of work of art, well, anything yeah. besides yeah, that, that would be more effective. I think anything, yeah. right, would be more effective.